Hey, hi, how are you? My name is Felton. Welcome back to some Destiny 2. Today we're going to be talking about just some last minute things you can try and get your hands on that are a bit more of a grind fest to get your hands on and not quite as easy as my last video. I just talked about stuff you could get through like red borders and stuff. These are a little bit more all over the place. Let's start by talking about the stuff that we have right here in the helm, honestly. Uh, there are two engrams here in the helm over here at the star chart that I highly recommend you farm if you want these two particular things. First of all, from the vice weapon engram, there is the funnel web. If you don't have a good funnel web, this is your best bet. If you missed the time that Banshee sold a really good sub adrenaline junkie one a few weeks ago, this is where you go. You just go here, you dump your umbral engrams and your shards into vice engrams and you pray. Is it a great farm? No. Is it a productive farm? Not really. Uh, above all else though, it is a farm that you can do to get it. Other things that you can farm from here that I highly recommend is the uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna botch this. Arvindil FR6 Fusion Rifle. Now, uh the reason that you can farm this like I did is you can get something like this. You can get a reconstruction choke up fusion rifle. Now, fun fact about this weapon, reconstruction synergizes with choke up in a really strange way that you might not realize. And that reconstruction doesn't change the base mag size, right? It just overflows your magazine. So something like choke lip works. The top half of the magazine is based off the base magazine. So for a six magazine one like I have right here, everything up until there's three shots left count for choke lip. So if it overflows up to 12 shots, that is like nine shots in a row, all of which are capable of choke lip. Highly, highly recommend trying to farm for this as well. One more where you can get that last uh, choke lip fusion rifle that lots of people have been recommending lately is the Riptide. Uh, this is a little harder to farm than, say, just that Omalon fusion rifle that I showed off a bit ago, but if you are someone who does play Crucible, if you have a lot of Crucible Ingrams left over from this past Iron Banner, don't know what to do with them, just throw them into the Riptide. Pardon the frame rate drop as I tab out of game into my dim. To yoink over it was already on my character well that's embarrassing but we're keeping this in you can get something along the lines of like feeding frenzy chill clip or auto loading chill clip or field prep chill clip there's lots of great things in the first column but you can get chill clip and the reason that you might want the rapid fire frame over the high impact frame as well is one you could just you could play a lot of crucible so it could be easier to farm for you or two you just like the fact that you can just shoot off the chill faster than you can with the high impact frame making it potentially easier to use stun champions with in the future this last one is something that is not available to be farmed at the time of the release of this video. However, the final week of this current season, the Windigo grenade launcher will be farmable. Uh, I'm going to pop up on screen here a screenshot from D2 Gunsmith where I show off the role that I'm probably going to be trying to go for. But overall, the things you want to go for are typically auto loading or field prep in the first slot and then explosive light or full court in the second slot. Explosive light being the better, more consistent option on average, just because for a burst damage phase where you typically want to use a grenade launcher anyways, explosive light's better. Full court is good for consistency in a way. If the boss doesn't move, if you don't move, you can just sit there and get full four cr full court value. Post reload, which you can't do with explosive light, because often, even if you are dropping down a well and you're trying to be careful and not step on the orbs to get better explosive light, uh, on average, you'll accidentally pick them up and miss out on a few procs. Highly, highly recommend last week of the season, of uh, Season of the Seraph here, go into Grandmaster Nightfalls, try and farm out a wooden to go, try and get that auto-loading and explosive light roll. Um, if you want your best chance at this, reset your Vanguard rank twice before then. That might seem a little strange, but if you reset your Vanguard rank twice, you will, ha you will have the chance to roll... A drop with two perks in this column and two perks in this column it's not guaranteed but there's a chance if you're at two resets hope for you to learn something a little bit about how to maybe farm out one of these weapons a little bit better before uh lightfall comes out hopefully you take my advice and go farm out a windigo when that's around when this video is coming out there is actually the ability to farm the duality dungeon which i highly recommend farming the final checkpoint on master as a matter of fact which you can do the week this video is being released, which should be the week of the February 7th. The February 7th. Good job, Felt. <laughs>
but I'll probably be farming that over the weekend with some friends myself because the final boss will drop two drops at once. You can potentially get red borders from the rest of the dungeon or just weapons from the rest of the dungeon. But on top of that, it is just a really fast fight that can drop you armor that has artifice armor slots, which I highly recommend going to get. Uh, hopefully this video is helpful to you. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and I hope to catch you in the next one.